All aboard your Tech News Games and Deals caboose. We have a good bit of AMD Mobile Ryzen 3000 laptop CPUs to talk about. A bunch of actual laptops from HP and Asus. And then two little bits of game news. So let's jump right into AMD. They have announced a mobile portfolio for new Ryzen. Athlon, there's one CPU for Athlon and two A-series processors for Chromebooks. So let's jump into these. We have, here's the second gen Ryzen Mobile. This is the 12 nanometer, so from 14 to 12 nanometer jumping down to. And what we're looking at is 4K HDR streaming, 10 hours of battery video playback, so possibly better performance, and media up to 29% faster than the Intel i7-8550U. And it can load websites 14% faster than the 8250U. So competing with Intel with these new Ryzen mobile processors. We also get a couple other little things. Uh, these notebooks are starting in Q1, so they're coming soon from Acer, Asus. We talk about two of these, one from HP we're gonna talk about, and then a couple other brands. And the other big announcement coming with the processors are support, so, so updates through the Radeon Software Adrenaline. So this is any Ryzen processor with Radeon Vega graphics. So you'll get quicker updates for that and better day one basically updates. So here are the actual CPUs. We have two 50H CPUs. These are the higher TDP. So these will get you most likely better boosts, longer boosts and be able to stay at that clock rate higher. So that's the 3750H and the 3550H. All the other CPUs are 15 watt TDPs. And then we see their clock speeds are starting at the top 2.3 gigahertz with a 4.0 gigahertz boost. And basically that is jumping up from the 30, from the 2700s, which were 2.2 gigahertz base and the 3.8. So 0.1 on the base and then 0.2 on the boost. So a little bit better boost than base. And then these are four core eight thread CPUs, Vega Radeon graphics, 10 GPU cores with a 1400 megahertz frequency on the GPU. So six megabytes of cache. And then we have the other ones in with one Athlon 300U CPU. This is just a two core 15 watt. This is gonna be, I believe for the Chromebooks, we'll see that in a little bit. Also, the A-series are actually for the Chromebooks. This is, there's two A-series CPUs, the, AM, the A6 and I believe the A4, and these are competing with Intel Pentium and Celeron CPUs. So 23% faster web browsing, 24 web applications, 3.2 times faster email, because we need faster email, because you don't want to waste time some 42% photo editing, so some light work there. And these are coming with AMD powered Chromebooks in 2019. We actually have two of the Chromebooks to talk about in just a little while. And then we're gonna have another AMD announcement on Wednesday, January 9th. Hopefully some more desktop stuff, not this lame mobile processor stuff. <laughs> but let's jump over into the Asus. This is the Ryzen CPU, the Ryzen 3750H inside the asus tough gaming laptop this is going to have 120 hertz display with free sync so pretty fast gaming stuff here and it's actually two options for cpus the ryzen 5 3550h will also be one of the options and you'll get radeon rx 560x graphics and you might not be able to read all this in the picture but you'll get up to 32 gigabytes of ram with this Asus laptop coming out soon. We have a day in a second. And there are two display options, 120 hertz, 15.6 inch, and then just a 60 hertz. And also from CNET, they mentioned a 17.3 inch display as a third option. And that'll have a 60 hertz refresh rate. So 120 on the smaller ones or 60 and then another 60. And this will be between 4.9 pounds and 5.7 pounds. And that looks like it is doesn't have a price tag. And we believe possibly March for the Asus Ryzen 7 CPU laptop coming pretty soon. Not too bad. We also have Chromebooks. These are the A-series AMD Chromebooks. These are the first two, one from Acer, 
and this is a 15.6 inch laptop and it looks like there will be two options for CPUs with this one, AMD A6 and the A4 and then you'll have two display options, a 720TN or a 1080 IPS. And here are a couple more specs, you'll get up to 8 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of, up to 64 gigs of storage. And actually a third option for the display, this is a 1080p touch display. And this Chromebook powered by AMD is coming for $280, I believe in February? Looks like February for the Chromebook 315. And then we have another Chromebook from HP, another AMD powered processor. And this is the Chromebook 14 for $270, and that is this month of January, so sooner than the Acer one. And you'll get an option for a 720p screen, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs. And this one is the HP, possibly $270 in, again, January. So, a bunch of Chromebook stuff, and then even more Chromebooks. This is HP's X360, so this is going to be a little bit more powerful, and there's going to be more options. This is a 14-inch. HD, full HD, 1080p display basically, and you'll get options for this. This is be a little Intel Pentium up to an i7 CPU choice. So it's a Chromebook, you're going to be using Chrome apps. You may not need an i7, but the option is there if you want to go over the top. And this is uh, coming in, the X360 is Chromebook is in January, so no pricing info for that. And are there any more Chromebooks? Hopefully not. <laughs> we have HP with more laptop stuff. This is just a Spectre X360. And this is going to have an AMOLED display. So this is going to be a pretty good display. And it's going to boast a bunch of stuff like obviously vivid colors. This is going to be 100% DCI P3 if you can read that really small text. Basically 33% more colors than sRGB. So really color rich better viewing angles, HDR support it says, also with eye comfort, eye comfort. This is like the light, the blue light uh, filter style stuff. And we're not sure the actual resolution of this AMOLED display, but it's going to have really fast response rates. And it's going to have possibly have the OLED issues of color access, shifting, ghosting, burn-in. So we'll have to see how OLEDs work out in these laptops. And then you'll get the Intel Quad Core Whiskey Lake U processor and an NVIDIA Discrete GeForce GTX graphics for this Spectre 360 style laptop. And we're looking at this March and no pricing for this super AMOLED displayed laptop. So we can move on into more HP news. This is actually their HP Omen lineup. So this is their a little bit more gaming oriented and they are planning a 240 hertz monitor for this laptop and also new nvidia gpu and 802.11 ax we talked a little bit about the wi-fi speeds yesterday and this is kind of being rolled out into their lineup in february it looks like they're putting in the new geforce graphics so this is going to be max q designs with the next gen graphics so for slimmer oriented laptops and then it looks like in July is when they actually are going to roll out the bigger stuff like the 240 hertz 1080p 4 millisecond response monitor. So really high tech monitor there, high specs at least. And then the 802.11ax standard, the, basically the 2019 Wi-Fi faster speeds for this laptop. And that'll be July-ish we're looking like. And no pricing it doesn't look like but the February ones will start at 1370. So we don't have a price on the higher spec monitor, but the other stuff we kind of got an idea of. And this is looking like a 5.3 pound laptop starting at roughly, probably gets heavier the more upgrades you do, a little bit. And then we have even more laptop stuff to talk about with Acer's new Swift 7 will kill the bezel when it launches in May. So this is going to be killing the bezel. It's going to be a really thin bezel with a 92% screen to body ratio. So we're getting really thin there. And it's not going to be the thinnest actual width wise laptop, but it still will be 9.95 millimeters. You could have just said 10 millimeters. It's almost the same thing. And then just under two pounds, 1.96. So thin laptop, smaller footprint because of the thinner bezels. That will save you some space. 
and then CPU options for this Asus laptop are Acer laptop, excuse me. It's the Amber Lake processor, and it will have a fingerprint reader. And it looks like the fingerprint reader is on the left side. And there's actually a pop-up camera because they made the puzzles so thin they actually had to move the camera. And it looks like this is the camera above the one key and that'll pop up. So you got a slightly different angle for your video conferences. And this is coming in May, starting at $1,700. And then earlier in other countries there. Oops, let me cross up China. And that is your AMD and plethora of laptops. There's probably going to be way more laptops, so there'll be another video in the coming days for that. We have quick little game news before we get to some comments, I see. Uh, the first game news comes from the Sentinel, Sentinel Pro XP PS4 and Xbox One. This is a portable gaming monitor. It's an enclosure that has an actual 1080p monitor and it straps in your console so you can take it on the go. And this is pre-orderable on Amazon. It's coming out in just two days, January 8th. And so $350, a little expensive for just a 1080p monitor, but that's not all you get. You get some three watt speakers, you get volume control, headphone jack, HDMI port, and the plastic style enclosure to keep everything safe with the Velcro strapping that in. The handle will cover close over on this side. And there are some side areas you could possibly get in smaller controllers. There's an additional bag that it comes with too. So this is for your console gaming stuff. Here's a little microphone, a headphone jack, HDMI, a little closer picture up of that. And then just for reference, this is a 1080p version. This is like pre-orderable. I found another one for $300. This is just 720. So pretty reasonable price compared to the competition at least out on Amazon. So this is just a 720p. Um, for your console. So interesting little thing if you're into mobile running around with your console going to LAN parties traveling possibly and then here's some actual game game news kind of old though but Doom gets a mod for golf so if you ever wanted to play golf in some pixely style graphics no insult but it's kind of old uh, we get to play golf now so this comes from Ter Terminus EST 13 and you get to play some golf. There's some low, medium, and high options to swing. You'll get a little graphic display of where it's going, low, medium, high. And then you'll get the golf club and I believe a putter. And then when you just don't want to golf too much, you also get to fight some monsters. I don't want to play too much of this. Here, he's going to the next hole here in a second. And then there's some golf and then there's some beating of monsters. I'm not gonna play that because there's too much blood. We can't see that on this Tech Caboose channel. It just gets gruesome. And you can download this in the description of the YouTube video. And it is also free. You can also donate to the creator, the mod creator doing this. And that is your tech and games. We're going to have another NVIDIA announcement today for CES. That's at 8 p.m. We may or may not do another video today doing like a recap of what just happened. If not, just roll into tomorrow's video. And AMD also has another announcement coming on January... 9th at 9 a.m. So there's going to be even more AMD news. Hopefully again the desktop stuff coming for that. So more NVIDIA, more AMD, more CES for the next couple days. So get ready. We have a couple of comments saying, hers, Chris, I don't understand what that means. But so many laptop choices. There are a lot and that's probably like just the tip of the iceberg on laptops. There's going to be a lot more, more gaming stuff too. Also, hi, any discrete GPUs for laptops from AMD? Any discrete GPUs? Hmm. News-wise, just besides the AMD 3000 Ryzen stuff, not too much from that first announcement, but there again, there's going to be more, so possibly the ninth could be some more discrete GPUs, or it could just be some desktop GPUs or roadmaps, we're not quite sure yet. And someone says Bloody Golf from Lulu. Cool stuff, cool stuff. So there will be another episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific every day. Tech news and games. We may shift out games one of these days if there's too much news. So just check back the next day. <laughs> and that is us signing out. Pew 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 pew.